guys, and welcome to another edition of Showbiz Insider. I'm Zoe, and today the show comes from Cavalli, Dubai. Now, as always, we're going to bring you up to date with all of the latest entertainment stories and events happening in the UAE. And March was the month of culture and society. From Dubai World Cup to the Atlan Hot 100 to my favorite Art Dubai, it was certainly a jam-packed social calendar. First up, the landmark 10th edition of Art Dubai showcased outstanding galleries and cutting-edge ideas at the Global Arts Forum. Central to Dubai art season and the leading art fair in the Middle East, the 10th edition showcased 94 galleries from 40 countries. That's 500 exhibiting artists and a progressive cultural vision. Well, Art Dubai is the leading fair for the Middle East, South Asia and now increasingly parts of Africa, with the largest showcase of Arab artists to take place anywhere in the world. And over the last 10 years, while well, the fair has grown from showing 40 galleries in 2007 to showing 94 now from 40 different countries, uh, I think in the first year we had around 8,000 people visit, last year 25,000 and this year it seems to be you know, even more uh, popular for uh, local audiences as well as our international arts professionals coming in. Captivating contemporary works, modern masters, video, performance art and the dynamic Global Arts Forum with Future Forward International participants. The art fair has in a way grown uh, by showcasing, I mean like being like the heart of the Middle East region and, and, and South Asia and uh, it's a place where everybody meets and gathers and where you can, uh, during these 10 years we have been able of a uh, bringing and showcasing uh, the evolution of the region in terms of professionalizing contemporary art. Now there's so many galleries involved and it's grown again this year. Where, where are we seeing more galleries from different countries? Where are the artists coming from? Where are the galleries coming from? This galleries are coming from all over. I mean, they're coming from Menasa region. I mean, they're coming from Saudi. They're coming from uh, Bahrain. They're coming from Oman. They're coming from uh, Pakistan. They're coming from India, uh, the United States, France, Switzerland, Luxembourg, uh, Nigeria, I mean, all over the world. Highlighting the dynamic growth of the UAE art scene, there were 13 galleries from Dubai, led by I Am Gallery, exploring shout and silence through abstract sculpture. So the sculptures behind me are about the dialogue of the deaf. There are two people shouting at each other. If you can see, the funnel grows to become one big shout. It's like a megaphone when you look at it. It's so like that's a megaphone I... if you want, with some legs to say, okay, I'm shouting, and the other says, no, I'm shouting, and they just fight on who's shouting. And at the end, uh, there are no winners. It's just a conflict without winners. Is it a political no statement losers. on war or anything it's, like it's, that? It's very much on what's happening in the region, not necessarily on war, but it's like that, you know. And if you go inside, you get trapped inside. I worked on both sides, so you have here silence. So they shout and silence because also I feel with what's happening with the refugees and everything, there are millions that are just going silent. It's just silent. They don't know what to do. So there and is people who don't silence. have a voice. They don't have a voice and that's a pity. So trying to show this contrast and to talk about this is very important in this time. Dubai's One by One gallery debuted six contemporary Indian artists who use installation as an experimental medium to explore individual subjectivity and light. I've been working with light for so some, some many years now. And I, I think also I come from a, from a place or a land where electricity is very, very essential. Half of the village in India, they don't have it. And you get to see in this dark landscape, a little light there. And it becomes so important, primordially like important light. So, I, you know, you work with a huge gamut of uh, conceptions and bring it to a little, tight, little, concise hole. And uh, there, it's kind of, you have this, the moment you have light, there has to be darkness, there has to be shadow. So you play with light and shade. New lights and new countries represented in the gallery halls include the emerging markets of Georgia, Ghana, Palestine, Sri Lanka and Baku. Basically the Bakuvian art scene is booming, everyone knows that. We have uh, quite a lot of venues, we have uh, Zah Hadid's beautiful building, Haydar Aliyev Center. They bring like big shows, big names like Wim Delbois, Tony Craig. We have Yarat Contemporary Art Space uh, which is focused on um, 
uh, international artists and local artists. And to this fair we brought four Azeri artists and one uh, artist is from Kazakhstan. Her name is Alma Gulsha. So, so just to introduce us to some of the work here, we've got this incredible painting. Tell me a little bit about the artistic process that's gone into this one. Uh, this is a painting by Aida Mahmudova, one of our leading artists. She works by hand and she sculptures the paint out of the canvas. So she's trying to expand the borders of like traditional painting and make it so called, I don't like this word, but three dimensional, but basically very like, you know. Tactile. Tactile, yeah. tactile, that's exactly the word. And from new markets to new statistics, this year 45% of participating artists are female. Meet Julie Tremblay, whose suspended sculptures explore boundaries and space and the interconnectivity of nature. Well, it's a, it's a sculpture that's made out of aluminum mesh. Um, and I like the material because it allows this transparency that you see. And as opposed to um, in traditional sculpture where the space is limited to the outside of the sculpture, the space here is continued inside. Art making is such a process that, you know, you start sometimes not knowing why you start working on something and that leads you to something else and that leads you to something else that you just like keep digging deeper and deeper and deeper and it becomes part of you. Artistic process and vocabulary, it's really about the dialogues they provoke and the questions they ask. And you're going to see the vocabulary of the artists that are, or, or, or the media and techniques that they are using, goes from painting to installation to video. And you're going to see that it's not, not what many people that are coming to Dubai for the first time thinks that the region is about. So not. what links, is there, is there, I mean, there's not one particular theme obviously, but is there anything that you say links all the galleries involved? Well, I think contemporary vocabulary, because I mean, at the end, artists are dealing with similar issues in terms of migration, in terms of uh, displacement, in terms of, uh, of gender, in terms of uh, diaspora. So there are certain issues that are common to everybody in these days. Art Dubai Projects is the program curated by Yasmina Regard. Project Plot documents Donald Trump's image after his controversial remarks on immigration. The piece began in, uh, a few months ago when uh, Donald Trump, you may or may not have heard about him, um, <laughs> said that he would like to ban Muslims from entering the United States. And at that moment, this uh, developer, Damak, who collaborates with Trump in Dubai, decided to take down Trump's name from um, the Damak Trump banner. And so I was interested in that moment, the moment of the removal of his name from the banner. And from politics to the business of art, last year Art Week 2015 brought in $35 million to Dubai and that figure is set to increase. When you have the patronage of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, uh, the Vice President, uh, uh, you know, the Prime Minister of the UAE and the ruler of Dubai, God protect him, you can be sure like, you know, any event will be uh, taking leaps uh, each year and a decade of Dubai, our Dubai shows in terms of the number the last year's uh, sales reaching 35 million uh, uh, US dollars uh, with 15,000 uh, visitors that says it all you know and the Global Arts Forum was a fascinating program exploring the ways artists writers historians and thought leaders imagine and shape the future does the future still feel like it could happen? Are you still looking forward to it or does it scare you? Because a lot of things seem to be going wrong with the world. Will they be made right in the future? Maybe it feels like you're already in the future. Your driverless car is taking you to a laboratory where a scientist can edit your genes like it's a Word document so that your descendants will be free from hereditary diseases. Still, there's always the other option, that the future is in the past. Existential ideas, postcards from the future, and graffiti artist El Seed hitting the streets of Cairo. Actually, the idea started uh, almost a year ago. Uh, Wahid, who worked with me, uh, told me about this place, I think two or three years ago, and uh, he said, like, let's, let's think of doing something there. And uh, last summer, we, uh, we finally decided to go and visit, and, uh, and the idea, we went, we went there like, with so much the um, wrong idea about the places, about the place called, uh, people know it at Zabalin, but the real name is 
they call themselves arrived. So starting from today, I started. I think since we started the project, I stopped calling this place Zabalin. Zabalin in Arabic means the people of the garbage, but they don't call themselves this way. Further focusing on artistic discovery, each year the program Marker highlights a particular geography. This year it featured contemporary artists from the Philippines. So we wanted to bring over the contemporary art scene of the Philippines and showcase it here in Dubai to show another facet of what's happening in Manila. There's an incredibly vibrant artist scene in Manila in particular with artists running their own spaces, everything from uh, graffiti artists, urban artists, film, video, fine art. And so we really wanted to show that diversity and give a little bit of space in the fair to this incredibly energetic and dynamic art scene that exists there. And don't miss another integral part of Art Dubai season with Sika. Sat amongst the wind towers of Al Fahiri, there's a kaleidoscope of musical performances, workshops, live painting, exhibitions and cinema akil screenings. I guess the one thing that links everybody is a love of culture and an interest in ideas and a, and a sort of desire to, and a willingness to interact with audiences. Over the past decade, Art Dubai has evolved dramatically as a cultural, creative and commercial hub, truly linking culture through art. Now, they would have had to redefine time at the Global Arts Forum to try and squeeze all of Art Dubai into just 10 minutes of footage. But racing on, next up guys, it's Dubai World Cup.